Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm, I'm going to talk about IR emitters and receivers. So here's a little unit, we have the uh, IR receivers on this side and the emitters on this side and this one here is the uh, adapter for the, the, the plug to give the unit power. Now uh, an emitter is what you would place on your piece of equipment and you would put the receivers on your TV. So for example, you would use this if you had, uh, like in the example here, if you had all your equipment under the stairs and your TVs are all dotted around the house. Now, these units here normally come with, the, the leads might be five or 10 meters, but they're never enough to get back to under the stairs. Also, the, the, the wires are quite fragile, so you wouldn't really want to be running them under the uh, floorboards and under the carpet. So what I've done here is I've actually run it all down my network wire so my, my Cat5e network wiring. So basically you've got your emitters here, this is a Virgin Media set top box. Now uh, I've had to put two on here because I couldn't quite get the uh, exact point for uh, to, to that the, this pushes out the signal, I couldn't exactly find it. So I've used two of them and it, it works It works perfectly. So basically the emitters go over here, into here, and now on the receiver side, if your pieces of uh, if your TVs were right next to this, you could just plug plug them straight into the receivers. But in this instance, they're uh, they're not. So what I've had to do is I've had to make up my own little uh, RJ45 jacks on the end of the lead. So if we go over over here, we can see that uh, this one here is the IR receiver. So if I unplug that, you can have a look. All I've done is. I've cut the, the wires off and I've put the uh, the ring in the tip to pins four and five. Hopefully you can see that. That's to pins four and five. And I've put the uh, the shield in the ground to uh, to pin eight. The reason I've done it to four and five is because it's a twisted pair on the network wiring so it ends up pushing down the, the the blue pair of wires. So uh, yeah, so if you just crimp a plug onto the end, you might have to put a little bit of plastic. I put a little bit of uh, little bit of sleeve from some uh, telephone cable just around it there to to make it a little bit wider because these plugs are really only used for Cat 5e wiring, and obviously a little 3.5 audio jack cable is a bit small when it goes into it. But by doing this, it works an absolute treat. So what happens is it goes through here. And it goes down my Cat 5e cable in, and it comes out by the TV in that particular room. And then uh, I'll show you that in a minute. So yeah, I've done that. So there's so there's one there's one going here to one TV. There's another going here to another TV, and it works uh, works absolutely fine. Hi. So this end we're at the TV end. This is where the IR receiver is, the infrared receiver. Now it's a mirror image of what you've just seen under the stairs. So I've plugged it into my network wire in here, and I've made up this little lead. So I bought myself a 3.5 stereo jack and I've crimped on an RJ45 plug onto the end, again using pins 4 and 5 and I've put the sleeve, the ground, on pin 8. So exactly the same as what you've just seen under the stairs but this one has a socket on the end and not a plug. So when you plug it into there and plug it into here, that should now become live. So if we go down and have a little look at that little light here, if we come around here to have a look we should see that it's lit up and when I use the remote control we should be able to see it flashing. There we go, so we can see the little red light flashing. And that's it.